I grew up in Canada, shrouded in my family's collective silence, and raised by my Canadian mother. It wasn't until my late 30s that I moved to Addis Ababa so that I could better understand the country that is in my blood and build a relationship with my father's sisters. At my grandmother's house, I was confronted with a new revelation. I had another aunt, one that no one had ever mentioned. Sally had disappeared. We don't know where she was. We don't know if she was alive. She was popular. She was very kind, gentle, but really, really fun-loving. She loved partying. I think initially she fell in love, but whatever it was that he believed in, she did too. She changed dramatically. I don't know if the word converted is the right word, but she became more involved in the movement than we could have ever imagined. People were dying left and right. When you are in that kind of situation, you know you will be next. They were becoming very secretive. They didn't want to be seen with anybody. But for her, yes, it was dangerous. I think it was a very difficult decision for her to go underground because we were very close. I mean, the family was close. How could there be a close relative that I know nothing about? I wonder, though, would Sally fit into today's Ethiopia? Would she still be fighting? <laughs>